I am proud to be just a little part of this team. But two years ago, uh, I heard a story that rocked my world. And I'm sitting there, and I had, you know, you hear stuff, but you, you know, unless you really hear it, sometimes it just goes in one ear and out the other. And I heard the story um, of Michelle Self's uh, niece. And uh, uh, when I heard her dad tell the story, and I'm not going to ruin it, I'm going to let Michelle come up here in a second, but 16 years old, uh, she had gone over to help her grandparents rake leaves the Saturday before Thanksgiving with her boyfriend, and she's driving home. How much more um, holiday spirit can you be in? To go over in Arkansas to be with your grandparents, help them rake leaves with your boyfriend, and driving home, a bug flew in uh, and got distracted her, and she hit a, a vehicle head on. And uh, the boyfriend, very few injuries, and Mary is broke almost every bone in her body and, and paraplegic, and her dad's telling this story. And I'm thinking when you're singing the song about, Mike, have you ever faced a mountain? Yeah. I was That's thinking right. Mary and their family faced yeah. a mountain. And what happened was Jim got up and told the story about uh, he would never wish it on any other family but he'd never change anything because and here's his daughter in this wheelchair who can't do anything behind him and i'm like um it just grabbed everything in my body and uh and so we decided this year that we wanted to make a difference and he started a foundation because then you know they're just tooling along everything was going great in life and this happened and then they had this happen to their 16-year-old. And, you know, she was in the hospital for nine months, how long? Nine months. Nine. Yeah, yeah. And when she came home, they weren't prepared for it. And their church, uh, their parish got together and built ramps and remodeled their house and did all the things they needed to do. But Jim Drake, her um, brother-in-law, correct? Uh, sister, your sister is Mary's mom. Uh, started a foundation called Miracles for Mary. Would, uh, would you please bring up Michelle Self, Rick's beautiful bride. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to Arkansas to officially present this, but um, uh, did you want to say anything before we make this presentation? Sure, Rick told me two minutes ago that I would have to. <laughs> That's because you wouldn't have come if he had told no, you. No, I guess not, I guess not. So I just want to thank you so much, Bob, well, and, our, and all of you gathered here today. Um, like Bob told you, uh, that was one of those times that you'll never forget where you were or what you were doing when you got the phone call. Okay, so... Um, I, the Martha in me was painting, it was right before Thanksgiving and I had a house full of people come in and the phone rings and it was one of my sisters and um, you could just tell, you know, in someone's voice when, when it's really bad, you know, and I'm one of nine children, so we have a very large family and we have been so blessed uh, with good health and uh, this was just a big shock, you know, to our whole family. And, um, you know, the words, um, you probably should get here. We're all trying to gather. And we were all there, you know, within, they live in Little Rock, Arkansas. We were all there within a few hours. And, uh, you know, I just, you don't expect the parents to be the ones that are so strong. But uh, my sister Patty and her husband Jim, were holding all of us up, you know, with their faith and their, um, you know, the doctors were telling them we should probably let Mary go. You know, if it, you know, we should probably let her go. And um, they said, this is our child, you know, we just need, we need to give her every chance that she can have to live. And I'll tell you, um, the, the most, beautiful things have come from her life. It's been, I guess, seven years now. And the joy in that child's face and just to see her, she's, in a, she's a young woman now, but um, we were at Mass recently for a wedding, a family wedding, 
and uh, during the consecration, she just lights up. I mean, she is just totally present in what's going on, although she can't, you know, speak it. You know, we just we just know there's a beauty. Her room is like surrounded with the Blessed Mother and all of the little things that have been sent to her, and it's just. You know, you just know you're in the presence of, of something so beautiful and so holy in Mary's life. And for you guys to give them, uh, support them in their mission, they, I saw a van, um, they, they bought a van for another family that has gone through this and that uh, didn't have the means to have transportation for their son. And so the miracles for Mary, they were able to go and buy of Anne and, and present it to this family and so now they can get where they need to go and uh, I know they're going to do wonderful things they want to uh, share what they've learned through this tragedy and help other families and this money that you've raised and that you're going to share with them is going to do a lot so thank you so much thank you very much thank for $14,000. Wow. Awesome. <laughs>